Uh-oh. Well, now it's broken. What's up guys? This is another video where I'm basically doing it because I can. Uh, as you saw, I touched this. It says don't touch it. So it's, um, it, it's broken now. Uh, actually, if you look on the other side, uh, uh, my customer apparently closed uh, his computer. Um, you can kind of catch it there in the light a little bit. Something uh, just smashed, you know, the whatever's inside here, um, which we're gonna find out in this video. Um, so it, it destroyed the panel, I already replaced it for him. But uh, yeah, so today we're just gonna open up this LCD panel and uh, we're gonna see what it looks like on the inside of it. Uh, I think one time, just for fun, I snapped one of these and uh, it was a lot of like pieces of plastic. But today I'm gonna try to uh, like just go in here with a knife uh, and be careful with that knife and just kind of see uh, what's up. If you guys don't know anything about uh, LCD displays on, uh, on, on laptops, they have like a 40 pin right here, which is what connects to uh, the uh, motherboard and everything. It gives you a video signal. Nothing, it's not like HDMI or uh, you know, DisplayPort or you know, DVI or anything like that. Uh, all laptops use this uh, 40 pin. Uh, so it's pretty much universal, uh, really. Any laptop screen, for the most part, will work on pretty much any laptop. The only thing you really have to worry about is the mounting holes. So I assume this is like the board that trans, uh, transcodes it, well, I don't know, makes everything into an actual image. Uh, I know on older laptop screens, they would have a separate device that I believe routed the power for the backlight or something like that. And then newer computers literally just have this, which makes it obviously a lot easier to do anything with. So looks like I got two little bitty ribbon cables right there. Let's see, can I, yeah, I can go ahead and pull off this plastic, which is literally not useful. So yeah, here's a close up of the, uh, of the back of that board and everything. Got one coming over here. I feel like this is probably the backlight cable. And then these are probably uh, signal cables for this thing. This thing really isn't even in place that where that well really. Uh, I guess that's why the paper is there, but literally you can like pull this thing out. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this thing. Let's see. Does this have a clip? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So that just pops out and then you can, all right, cool. And there's the back of that. It, it's very plain. <laughs> But yeah, that's a nice little piece of PCB. Uh, okay, and then this cable, let's see. Can we do anything with this without having to rip everything apart? Probably not. Yeah, looks like that's pretty much all you can do from the back side of it. But now I'll kind of look on, see how we can open this puppy up. My original plan was just to cut right through this thing with my uh, knife here. But uh, I do see some screws here on the uh, top corners. So I figure we might as well uh, see if we can open this thing up legit before having to resort to a knife. Yes, yeah, so I'm just kind of curious about what a liquid crystal display looks like. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys out there are interested about that as well. I also have a video of opening up a hard drive if you guys are interested in that. Uh, Sometimes it's just interesting to open up technology and see what's inside. Can I, does this want to pop up at all now? Or are there more screws? Let's see. Let's see, this little piece of tape right here along the top, it looks like it's holding this, these two pieces together, I believe. So we'll see if we can cut that really quick. Hopefully that actually cut. And it looks like the metal around the edge here has like some clips and everything. Looks like that might come off.
right, we got the metal frame off of there. That was a little tricky because they kind of tape it on at some points and it has uh, notches that hold it on at the other points. But, uh, all right, so there it is without the uh, metal frame. Kind of looks interesting without that, really. Uh, metal frame, uh, like, I'm guessing it, it feels like it adds rigidity because this thing feels like it's really not held that well together without that. Uh, and on top of that, um, uh, it, it also adds like the mounting for like the brackets on, on the sides and everything. Uh, at least for this particular uh, model of LCD. So uh, there we go. Oh, look at me. Uh, that's cool. So yeah, it looks like the board just floats freely right there. And it looks like that's where it goes into the, uh, into the screen. So that's kind of interesting. Very cool stuff there. Yeah, awesome. And uh, so I guess we'll just keep tinkering along. It looks like, oh, all right, oh, okay. Oh, well, damn. All right, that didn't take any effort at all, really. Uh, let's see, what is this backlight? Oh, is this the backlight? I mean, look, see, so the, the backlight connection is still there. So I assume this is the backlight, all right. The backlight is actually, way uh way bigger than the uh the lcd part which is really interesting it also also includes the plastic frame here too i'm guessing so but yeah there's a uh, one layer here and um gosh what is this does it is it just like a pan let's see is it like a mirror it's not like it's mirror like but it's like opaque or something get this off here i guess All right, but yeah, look at that. It kind of has, I don't know, almost like a rainbow effect, but not really. So that's interesting. And then looks like this. All right, so this is where it's all the layers, I think, from what I've seen before. This is that top layer. Uh, maybe, it re maybe it reflects the image and everything. Um, I don't know. I don't know, it, it's kind of interesting. And what does it look like on this side? Same thing, basically. All right. And then we got another layer. This one is very different, but it's actually kind of similar. All right. Ah. Look, I like it's showing my shirt and everything. All right, cool. Then we got kind of a clear layer, it looks like. All right, and all, the, all of these are opaque. You, you know, you can't see through them and everything. Uh, and then, <laughs> that totally screwed up my camera. You got this camera, there you go, good job. All right, and then, yeah, at that point we just have the light, I guess, I don't know. I guess this is probably the light. I know, when, whenever you look at a display, whenever it doesn't have the back on the computer, all of this is lit up, which is probably the backlight lighting it up. But that's really, really interesting. Uh, Looks like we got like a little piece of plastic here, which doesn't really appear to want to come out here. Uh, huh. All right. Oh, look, you can see the, um, the ribbon cable goes up to the top and then it enters right here in the corner. Ah, very interesting. Let's see. So we'll see if we can pop out this piece of plastic now if it's at all possible to do that. Right here I'm making a little bit of progress. Looks like it's glued into place. Or ta uh, taped actually, it looks like. All right, cool. So this is all just taped into place. Although it's underneath this top part, is it? Huh. Interesting. Ah, there we go. Got that part off at least. So that's like the very, the very backbone, I guess, of the, of the uh, display, I guess. It's kind of like the plastic uh, backplate or whatever, uh, mount, whatever you call it. So that's where the light comes from. And then it, let's see. So, oh wait, is the light bar, oh, look at that. The, all the LEDs are up there. That's why the piece of metal is there to direct the light downwards. So yeah, I'll try to zoom in for you guys so you can get a little bit better understanding of this, but 
and maybe bend down the plastic a little bit. But yeah, that's here's all the LCDs. Ah, just a strip of LCDs up there. That's really interesting. I did not know that's how it worked, but that's really cool. All right, let's try to rip off that and look at the LED. All right, got the metal frame out of the way. And here is the, uh, the stretch of LED lights. So as you see, it's kind of cool, isn't it? And then there's like a little uh, ribbon cable for that. So that's literally just like a string of lights. Wow, that's really cool. So I guess if, uh, if literally just the backlight goes out in your display, uh, I guess you could swap out the backlight. That's kind of cool. I mean, it would totally not make sense because these displays you can buy like brand new for like 45 bucks. So really wouldn't make any sense to do that, but you can, I guess. Then there's that, the back piece of paper, I guess. Feels like just paper and then got the little piece of plastic. So cool. All right, so we're done with the backlight. That was actually really cool, honestly, I thought. Oh, and I don't know if you guys can see at this point, but you probably can. You can see through it and you see me and like my kitchen and everything. Yeah, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Wow. Huh. All right, so this is the display. So, and it's see-through. It kind of has a greenish tint, um, at least from what I see. I don't know if you guys can really catch much of that. Yeah, maybe there you go. Pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, so, cool. This just goes into the display like this. Uh, you can very clearly see the damage to the LCD right there. Uh, just got really smashed up. And it looks like the more you put pressure on it, uh, the more this damage is spreading. You see that? Yeah. So if you ever break your LCD, don't keep, don't keep smashing it because you will keep on spreading that damage just farther and farther and farther. So yeah, this is really interesting though. This feels like glass. If I broke this, like you can see the crack here and everything, uh, it probably cut the shit out of me, so I don't really feel like doing that. But uh, yeah, it's really interesting. At this point, I don't really know what else I can really take apart. I mean, here is the LCD display. Um, it looks like just a piece of glass. So I don't really think I can do much. I guess it's just probably two pieces of glass with an LCD, I don't know, a bunch of pixels infused into it. I don't really know exactly, you know, th th this is the farthest in the process that I can really get. But uh, this is really interesting. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you thought it was cool. Uh, yeah, what if I just rip off these things now that we're basically Kind of done with this. These things literally just can pull off. They make a kind of a loud screeching noise whenever you do that, but all right, yeah. And that's how it connects to the display. Huh. Very interesting. Cool. And does this bend or does it crack? Cracks. All right, cool. I mean, it is PCB. So that's really interesting. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you thought it was cool. Uh, if you did, drop a like on it because um, I really would appreciate your all your help and everything. Let's see, let's get maybe like a thumbnail of this crap. All right, yeah, that might, that might be a good thumbnail or something, I don't know. So yeah, this, is a, this was a pretty interesting process. I'm glad I did it. I uh, hope you guys thought it was cool. Uh, if you have any suggestions about it, or anything you want me to tell you, anything you want me to tell me, let me know in the comment section below. Ah, yeah, look at that. We're really jacking up this display now. Yep, this thing was not designed to be flexed. Yep, look, there's like waves in it. That's really cool. It literally looks like black ink, like everywhere once, once you crack it. It's really interesting. Huh. Ooh. Okay, now I'm getting glass shards everywhere. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I thought it was cool. Uh, maybe I'll do some more stuff like this in the future. If there's anything you guys want me to take apart that's computer-related, leave any suggestions in the comment section below. But besides that, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later.